Hello, hello, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Daniela Muhammad from a psychological standpoint. Stop comparing me to Dr. Honda. Anyway, how are you doing, people? Hello, hello, it's Monday again. Let's get to reacting to Daniela Muhammad. I just listened to the intro of the video again, and I sounded really, really stupid. I tried so hard to, like, sound smart, like, be sophisticated, hello, hello, but I sounded pretty dumb. So, anyway, I'll keep it for your pleasure. I'll keep it so you can laugh at me, but just so you know, I do agree that I sound that's pretty stupid. I am at the train station. It is 4 a.m. I'm waiting for Muhammad to get here. I'm excited! <laughs> I see you, Muhammad. I see you finesse and them blondies. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. It's freezing. Yeah, it's cold, but... At least it's better than Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's throwing shade at Ohio. And for some reason, I expected him to do like the North African kisses, like the four, <coughs> the four kisses that we do. But he did not, which is very, very surprising. I just got to South Carolina. My friend Louisa picked me up from the train station, and we're gonna move to uh, Miami together. See if it'll fit in here, number one. Now I think it will fit. Your trunk is a little big, so I think it would fit. Like one hundred percent convinced. Mathematically speaking, it would. I'm sorry. Oh, I really feel relieved that uh, I am not in Ohio and I'm away from Danielle. All right. I know Muhammad very well. I met him through Facebook. He just seemed like a genuine person. Since he was new to the country, I felt like he needed a friend, so why not me? <laughs> oh, he's getting friend zoned. And literally, everything happens on Facebook. Facebook needs to start sponsoring 90 days or shows like this. Rebecca Medziad on Facebook, uh, Nicole Met Hassan on Facebook. Uh, like everyone, literally, like everyone meets everyone on Facebook. That's why I don't have Facebook anymore. It's a little crazy out there. All right. Yay. Now I feel more free to uh, go wherever I want and do whatever I want without being like worried about Daniel. I'm not worried. Well, you're still married to Daniel. You can leave to the end of the world, but you're still married and she's still gonna haunt you. That, uh, listen, this is exactly how I feel like when, I'm, when I go to the sink and I see a whole lot of dishes and I don't wanna do them and I go to my bed and I'm like, okay, I sleep and tomorrow they won't be there. Guess what? The next day they are there and they are waiting me and I have to get it done. So no matter where you go, like you're still married to Danielle. Me and Louisa are uh, heading down to Miami and I am so excited about like uh, starting a new life, but I never lived with a female before Daniel. Daniel was my first experience with females. I find it really cringe and annoying how he he keeps describing these women as females. It's my first experience with female. Danielle is my first female. Like that's really, I don't know. Like that's, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comment section. Do you find it really cringe or is it just me? I'm starving, so I can't wait. What do they have? Southern. Uh, you have to read the menu for me. It has to be something with no meat or chicken. Bro, just get some ribs and get like some mac and cheese and get like the, like the real cheesy mac and cheese and just be happy. They have salmon cakes. What do you mean cakes? Like something sweet? No, it's like a patty. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, yeah. I do think that Louisa physically is attractive. She's a beautiful American girl, she's blonde, she's tall and everything. Look how wide he's smiling and look how and you can see clearly how happy he is. And this is like, I, I want this to be known. This is how a man that is that adores you or that is attracted to you looks like. So when people start and tell me, oh, my, <laughs> Hassan is attracted to Nicole. She's really sweet. He was not attracted to her one bit. When people come at me and say, oh, Muhammad maybe was attracted to Danielle or maybe he liked her. Or maybe he liked her personality. Maybe, but does, that doesn't really overshine physical attraction. And it really shows when someone yeah, you know what I mean? Let's look how happy he looks with Louisa. While with Danielle, no matter how he claimed he liked her, he never looked as happy or nowhere near as happy as he is right now. <laughs> and I remember I got someone in my comments saying, I am very shallow because I praise uh, Rebecca a lot and I call Rebecca attractive, but I never really praised Danielle and never said Danielle attractive. Sorry, when I see yellow, I call yellow. When I see green, I call green. Rebecca is 53 or whatever. She's old, but she took care of herself. 
and that deserves praise but Danielle she's only 43 like she's really young but she does not seem to take care of herself and that's like a big issue so I'm not like really I, I don't say anything mean about Danielle at all but I also don't say anything nice because there is nothing nice to be said about her all she did like for the whole first season is literally cry in every shot that, that she, she was on TV all she did is crying like what do you want me to compliment her crying oh you have beautiful lush tears what do you want me to say <laughs> It's weird, you know, I have things going on in, inside here. I have to be careful about what I say, <laughs> especially with Louisa because she's... <laughs> yeah, he, de <laughs> he definitely, uh, he, he has like, I don't know, I don't know. He never said anything as nice about Daniel, let's just leave it there. So, pretty excited about like moving down there and being together in one place. In Tunisia, do a girl and a guy, even as roommates, live together? You don't see that too much. People, they stay, stay like uh, guys together or like girls together. Oh, that's a very nice question. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. She's hitting you with your own culture. Do you really do that in Tunisia? Hmm? Hmm? If it was Danielle, he would say, Oh, we don't do that in Tunisia. I cannot share room with you, Danielle. I'm sorry. But since it's Louisa, he's like, Hell, hell yeah, we don't do that in Tunisia, but I'm gonna do it with you anyway. Who's gonna be doing the dishes? Me or you? Oh hell yeah, my man. Toxic masculinity in the house. You did the dishes, woman. This is... <laughs> I feel like this is a question I'm gonna ask for all the wrong reasons. I'm gonna be like, hmm, stay in her right dead center in the eyes, be like, hmm, who's gonna do the dishes in the house? <laughs> and this is not even a man or woman thing, I just hate dishes. I just give her two options though. I'd be like, I put a ring on it, you get to decide. Do you want to do the dishes or do you want me to get a dishwasher? But you still have to run the dishwasher. You. You. Me? Uh, in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I really like about Muhammad is he's honest. He doesn't sugarcoat. Even if it's something that you don't want to hear, he's a very fun person. We both have a huge sense of humor. We like to laugh. <sighs> dreams do come true. <laughs> yeah, he did got a green card and now he has a blondie. I mean, dreams do come true. Living with Louisa is gonna help me start trusting females again. Yeah, you hitting the like button will, will restore my trust in females again. I'm so excited to go to Miami with you and I think it's gonna work. It's a whole new life. It's a whole new life in sweet Miami without Daniels and all the stupid bills. We tried to make it like straight to Miami, so my back hurts a little he bit. He got to sleep though. I had to stay awake <laughs> drive. We are just trying to get in the hotel and, and go just sleep. sleep. Hold up. Is that one room? Is that one room? If it was Danielle or if it was poor Nicole, bless her, like she spent three seasons hunting a room and it would be like, oh, we cannot share room, honey. It's a Muslim country. Well, <laughs> in his defense, it's not a Muslim country, so they can share room legally. But he is, he claims to be a Muslim. So why are you sharing the same room with a woman? Hmm? 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 Why being married too? Hmm? 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 I'm hardcore judging you right now. Oh, get it, get it. This thing is heavy. What are we gonna do for the bed now? Look at TLC. You cannot convince me that this framing is not scripted by TLC. They're like emphasizing on the bed. They're like zooming in on the bed and they're like showing you the whole room so you could clearly see there is only one bed in the bedroom. Ah, uh, TLC is so shady. We got one room with one bed, but I am still married and I cannot even go in a relationship without making. Wait, did he say relationship? He said relationship, he slipped. I'm sure that uh, it's not gonna affect me like when it comes to the law and the immigration. Well, where, where I'm gonna sleep? There's a table here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't think so. I'm gonna sleep on the bed and you sleep on the floor. Wow, <laughs> such a gentleman. I'm joking. <laughs> I seriously don't think he was bluffing. I think he was just he he meant it. Like he wasn't just like haha, I'm joking. He it was a bluff to see if she would say yes. But when she gave him that nasty look, he was like, uh, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll sleep like right here, and you sleep like right here. No, 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 well, no. Okay, no. then I'll sleep right here. <laughs> we don't know about the future. I like her and she likes me, but we are just friends and. 
I mean, are you really gonna convince me that you're friend with Luisa? Are you gonna convince me that you spent a whole night with cameras off and you didn't even do anything? A part of me wanna believe it because I think Mohammed really, really takes his visa process really, really seriously and he's like very, very scared of immigration and he would not sleep with Luisa if he knows that it will sabotage his stay in, in America. So I, like a part of me don't think he would do it just for the fact that he has a pending visa that he has to, you know, a pending green card I mean so I don't think he actually touched her also I could have sworn that I saw him stare at her puppies but maybe it's just me imagining things I put a screenshot and you tell me if he was staring or if it's just me so does um Daniel know about this she know you're down here she uh, touch with you? actually nobody knows about this I just left Ohio without telling to, any, to anyone well, I don't think you need to tell anybody where you're at anyway because uh, the, I don't own them anything so why do I have to tell people or even Daniel she doesn't have to know where I am because we are done I just think through his situation and I've like supported him and been like there every kind of like every step of the way I think that just like built that connection we are really having like a good relationship uh, good friendship then friend right. zone no. I find them really annoying together if I'm being honest I don't like the stares that Louisa gives and I don't like just Mohammed's whole energy around Louisa it's m almost like trying too hard to assert dominance on her or something maybe he's too used to Danielle being obedient that he's trying too hard to just like I don't know I don't know I, I just like it, it's a, like a bad energy around them that I can like just detect and it's really annoying me but maybe that's just me you're out of Ohio and you're in Florida and Miami how are you feeling? I'm just gonna focus on like finding jobs and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna worry about anything else. Yeah. The goal in Miami is to be settle down, stars. get. Be what? Rock stars. <laughs> You'll be a rock star. <laughs> not an actual rock star. Okay, so for me, the most important thing is to find a good job and then have a place to stay. We've got to find a place to live, like, ASAP. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's do that the first thing tomorrow. All right. So I don't know how we're gonna do it here. Maybe I will just like use the blanket and sleep on the floor. <laughs> Anyway, and that's Mohammed bizarre adventure with Louisa. My take, eh, Rubiza, Rubiza is really sketchy. I just call her Rubiza. I like this nickname. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say Rebecca, but I wanted to say Louisa as well, and I just came out as Rubiza. Hey, Rubiza, how are you doing, girl? I like Rubiza. Uh, she's a little sketchy, but who cares? D Mohammed, Mohammed is now showing his true colors, and I feel like these are his true colors. You could already see that he's attracted to Louisa. He doesn't care about Daniel because he left, and he's immediately trying to find plans before even divorcing Daniel I feel like his true real true colors are showing right now anyway uh, it's getting spicy from here I feel like this is where the plot start ticking in quite literally too anyway thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comment section anyway let's just skip an outro for now I'll save you the headache bye